All right, welcome back, Anti-Job University. This woman, spectacular woman right here, can pull money from dead people. She can pull thousands of dollars from your bosses, your ex-bosses' wallets. She can pull money from the government's vaults and hand them straight to you. She helps you find unclaimed money and unclaimed assets that you never knew you had. Her name is Kim Robertson, and her channel, the new channel, she's exposing it to the world what she does so that you can do it too and so that you can get money yourself. Her channel is called Kim Finds Cash. All right, I had to do a little introduction, jump roll right there. So, all right, what does Kim Find Cash stand for? We're gonna jump right into it. Kim Finds Cash means finding cash that you never knew you had. And it's just, I'm just super, super excited about it because it's something that's near and dear to my heart um, before um, I thought to do this as a profession, I found my money, I found my husband's money, I found his friend money, I found my grandma money, I found all of my family members. I'm just finding their money for them. Uh, for them. And then it's just, uh, and they needed it right on time. It was something that they needed right on time. So I know for a fact that it's a lot of people out there was just like me, just like my husband, just like my family that needed that money right on time. Okay, so that's where it's at. So Kim Finds Cash, she helps you find unclaimed monies and unclaimed assets that you never knew you had. And on her channel that I'm going to introduce to you guys a little bit later is going to show you how she's uh, pulling thousands of dollars, helping people pull thousands of dollars out of assets that they already own because it doesn't take money to make money. That is a myth, right? All right, so number two. Number two on the list, what are some places that this hidden cash would come from? It's a lot, you guys. So let me just run it down. It could be from abandoned bank accounts. It can be from stock holdings. It can be from unclaimed life insurance policies, forgotten pensions, uh, mortgages, foreclosures. If you worked a lot of jobs, because I know I did, I worked a lot of temporary uh, jobs and stuff like that. And if you moved, these people like they like they not gonna hunt you down if they just gonna send it off to the government and it just sits there. So yes, that's basically a rundown of where this money could be coming from. And also, um, it could come from a dead relative. Dead relatives, man. So that's what I was saying at the beginning about I said she can pull thousands of dollars from a coffin. That's what I was saying. I was being figurative, but it's actually true. You have relatives that passed away that never uh, you know, signed a will or set up a will, or they might have been owned, owed uh, some type of settlement, but never got it while they was living, and it's supposed to pass down to their next of kin, things like that. She helps you claim that, dude. So a lot of you guys are sitting there broke right now. It don't have to be. It's money and, and the assets around you, and we're going to get into that. So before we go today, you'll know how to make money without it taking money to make it, okay? All right, so number three, she almost, she pretty much explained it, but I'm just gonna ask it anyway. Who exactly is holding these people's hidden money hostage? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> the freaking government, you guys, is holding your money. Holding your money hostage. Um, I wanna say holding it hostage, I just really think they really don't care about getting it to you because um, if it's so much money, and it's billion dollars, you guys, billion dollars has been held by the government. And they only hired three people. That Somebody that sends a, a little stanky letter, put a stanky little um, article in a paper. Who reads the paper? You ain't going to find it there. They do a stanky little press release every now and then. And then they make it hard for finders, people like me, people like you, say it, say one day if you want to do this as a profession, you'll notice that it's a lot of states that are not finder friendly, okay? But yeah, so they, they holding this money and they not in a rush to give it back to you. So say for instance, like for me, for an example, everybody that's on my father's side is pretty much, they was older and they pretty much passed away. So um, all of their money, I don't know nothing about. So I have to do an ancestry.com search to even see if they have anything that I can, which I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be talking about that on my channel. So make sure you guys 
go and subscribe, okay? But yes, this is what the government is holding back from you guys, and they're not in a rush to give it to you. Okay, so as y'all see, man, it's your friendly neighborhood government, you know what I'm saying, the ones that's supposed to be protecting you and have your best uh, interest at heart and all of that extra mumbo jumbo stuff, okay? So the goal, guys, on my channel is to help you make money. So it's similar to hers. The goal is to, you know, help you pull cash uh, so that you can quit jobs and to take care of bills and things that stress you out sometimes and stuff. So having unclaimed money and assets come to your doorstep out of nowhere is like a lifesaver sometimes, okay? So being one of these people, uh, a money finder, is like a, a very noble and lucrative profession. So that goes into the next question. How much can people make, like on average, like how if you're really going hard at this, realistically, like if you're going hard, especially at the beginning, setting up all the systems and stuff, how much can a person expect to make from a business? You can make a six-figure business, you guys. A six-figure business just by finding somebody's money, finding their money, connecting them with it, profiting at the end. It's very easy to set up. It don't take no money to, to get started. You can start off just with your family and make money from them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it, it takes no money. And then um, as you start to see and put, like you, like you just mentioned, putting systems and stuff in place, you will be able to like, okay, well, I can give me a VA to do the, cir the searching. Then next, you can, you know, start adding people in certain spots to where it can run smoothly. And then guess what? You can move on to another state and build another team there. Okay. So as y'all can see, you can start small. All right. So there are legalities in certain cities. And, uh, you can't just jump off. That's why it's good for you guys to go over there and follow our channel so that you can make sure you're doing this legally. Okay. You can handle your family because they ain't going to snitch on you. But it's certain states that you don't need registration, certain states that you don't need to be connected to a PI, certain states that you could just hit the ground running, get lists, churn those lists out. But she has other ways besides those lists because everybody got the same list and cold calling and all of that. You don't have to cold call. You don't have, you can position yourself to where people come to you, kind of like how we're doing right now. Okay. And you can make a killing helping people find cash, assets, unclaimed money things from their old jobs, uh, dead relatives, all of that. And they could just jump at their doorstep and they give you a piece of it. It's kind of like an estate attorney or uh, what do you call it? A, yeah, a state salesperson or something like that. They get 40% of whatever they help that estate sell and everything is pretty much like that. Like a wholesaler. Yeah, like a wholesaler. Yeah, yeah, like a real estate wholesaler. Pretty much exactly. You, you're the middleman and you helping a person uh, get what belongs to them. And you might say, well, why don't they just do it themselves? They can, but most of them don't know about it. You can't. They that's, don't. They don't. That's why, they I don't says, know. Um, that's why I says knowledge is power because they don't know about it. And then when you make them aware of it, like it's so many scam sites out there, so many things. People most of the time are afraid to go and try it because you into your social security somewhere and then you end up getting identity theft going and stuff. So, you know, what I'm saying? so it's good to follow someone like Kim on the Kim finds cash YouTube channel or the IG, uh, because she knows the legality state state. She knows what you need. She knows even, even if you're not trying to do that as a prof as a profession, if you need her to help you find some unclaimed or something, look up a relative or something, she can do that just like that and you can have money coming in super fast man a lot of you guys have stuff left behind it from other people that that you have no idea about and you running around the world struggling right now uh but let's move on okay so i see you just started the new youtube channel and the new ig okay so you're about to expose all of this to the world how the government is conniving and holding back money that belongs to the people that's watching this right now which is why they need to go over there and subscribe after this okay all right so you started an ig and a youtube channel um to help people find unclaimed money help them um learn how to make money without investment all of those different type of things what type of content, like video content? I know it's going to be entertaining and I'm going to show them your first video in a minute. 
All right, what type of video content uh, will my viewers see by going over there to subscribe right now? Well, you guys will be in for a treat. You will be able to look around. You will be able to look around your house and like, oh my God, I didn't know that I can make money from that. It's just sitting there. It's just sitting there catching dust, all right? So that's what I do. I make sure that uh, I'm very transpar uh, transparent when, um, like, I have a bunch of, bunch of content. I'll let, I let this go. Okay, so showing you guys that a person can bring in a seven-figure income with their washing machine. A washing machine, yes, you have a washing machine that's sitting there, only while you only use it every now and then, man. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're one of those people that uh, you're a clean freak and you just like want to keep all the dove, the bugs, and dust and stuff off of you. So you're using your machine. But what if you can use that machine and it can pay for itself? What if you can use that machine to where first you started off with two washing machines, now you got to four washing machines in your garage. Then you like, oh, I need a building. This is exactly what I'm talking about, you guys. And we over here in Mexico right now, and um, a person, they got a business where they come to your house and pick up your uh, laundry and wash your stuff. So it don't, it, don't it don't cost nothing to get this started. You can get this started right now. Mm -hmm. So that's a little bit of what I'll be going through. And, also, I will be um, reacting to um, people finding things in odd places, finding money in odd places. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited. And you guys, make sure you subscribe if you are interested. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're interested. If they like money, they should be interested, especially if they like money <laughs> without having to invest. In. So the good thing about it, guys, is that, like, like this one right here, this is our first video. And she got 44 views on our first video. She's talking about things that people didn't know they could do right now. You always want to start a business, but then you hold off and procrastinate from quitting your job because you think you need a lot of stuff. But she's revealing things that might be sitting in your house right now, just random stuff. Using your cell phone as a business, using your backyard pool as a business, uh, using your backyard as a business. It's all different types of things. And I'm saying these things on purpose because this is what's coming up. I've seen her playlist, her list of videos that she's going to be revealing. And it's things that you guys wouldn't expect that you already have right now. While you're sitting in the house pondering on how you're going to get paid, filling out job applications, it's things that you have right now. The thing that you drive to go to the job interview is a business too. You see what I'm saying? So it's things that you already have and she's going to be revealing it on this channel and she's going to be going live on her Instagrams and helping you guys as well. So that's the first post she made trying to promote this video right here, guys. As I, as, as I said, it already got 44 views and she just uploaded it on a brand new channel without no promotion or no help yesterday go over there and send it some more views learn maybe set up this business of how this uh, uh lady brings out 71k out of her home oven selling food from home catering okay like listen it's, it's not a joke you don't have to be working a job guys there's people out here living their dreams now it's grind work at the beginning you know what i'm saying but guess what channels like hers are unique, a diamond in the rough. And what I mean by that is all of the make money like online channels, even mine sometimes, require you to have some type of up uh, front investment to build the business. I'm not talking about coaching because I believe you're supposed to pay for somebody's time, but I'm talking about um, business investment. Like, okay, I need to buy this for the business. I need this for and all of that extra stuff. You don't need it. And with this, what she's doing and everything, what she's teaching, you don't even need business loans and everything. You know what I'm saying? You can get one, but you don't need it because you're using assets that you already have to build businesses. This is going to be a very entertaining channel and we're going to follow her journey along, like maybe once a week, check back in. But you guys should go rush over there right now. If you love money, then you're going to love this video right here. It's only one minute and 21 seconds. Super awesome, man, of how you can pull 71K from your home oven legally 
legally and it got five no it got four steps in there four steps you can be set up within a week's time and making bank out of your own freaking oven okay all right so and you ain't got to hire too much you ain't got to have no help or nothing like that you just start with what you already have so is it anything you want to tell the people viewing this video right now i want to tell you guys i want to thank you for uh tuning in giving me your time today and um subscribe and um see if you like it you know and um yeah that's pretty much it all right so this has been an interview of an entrepreneur that is awesome on our channel anti-job university where we help you turn your passion into ways to cash in and kim finds cash helps you find cash you never knew you had so it's a marriage literally all right go over there and check her out and follow her love you guys do a Jet Li sidekick to the like button on both channels and do a spinning back fist Conor McGregor, Deontay Wilder got knocked out by Tyson Fury and I'm still pissed. Punch to the subscription button for both of them. Love you guys. See you in the next one.